Carbs and Coffee Morning, heading out to Dean Motors. Cormac is with me. Hello. And uh, we're going to take the inside out today. So this is a bit of a proper first run out of the year for the inside. We do also have the elements, which is kind of the first time you're going to see this, but we're going to see a lot more of that later this year. So yeah, going to head wrapped up warm. Yep, out to Dean Motors for some very rainy cars and some very rainy coffee. And the theme is, what was the theme again? Pre-2000. Pre Pre-2000s, okay. So thankfully, the 99 inside is going to be perfect for that. So let's get going. Okay, get out of hibernation mode. Come on, Hello. now, right. Let's have a quick look at what is around. Right, first up, this Lancia, very nice. It is here, getting a bit, a little bit of work done. This is what, so this is what the guys have in stock, right? Pretty much. Most of this stuff is in stock or in for work. I know half of them are probably in stock. Now these, we don't see as many cabrios anymore. We don't see as many cabrios. These are our peak BMW modern classic at the moment. They were coming into their own. They were thrown to the side for a long time. And now we have examples like this, which is a six cylinder. And cab, manual, black on black on style 32s. It's a pretty uh, tried and tested combo. Can't go too far wrong with it. Okay, now some Opal stuff. We do love a bit of role playing. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I mean, there's quite a bit of attention to detail that's gone into this, right? Now, I'm not big up enough on Mantas to know 400 or, or, you know, how, how specific we're getting. I do know the proper, the, the, the big daddy has five lugs. That's about as good as oh, I can get. Oh, okay, right. So yeah. that's a bit of a, bit yeah. of a giveaway. Okay. Bad. Okay, but there's a lot of other so I have I gotta say right first of all I'm a big big fan of this. Yes. This I really dig this. I have no need for one of these yet. I really really want one. It has an excellent reg plate as well. Oh it does actually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is all kinds of cool. Fantastic seats. Ah, uh, yeah, a bit tricky to see now, but yeah, that looks just super, super cool. Even the color actually is. I mean, yeah, it, it's easy to imagine this in California, in period, or even today, as just being perfectly set. Yeah. And this is the kind of thing I love about events like this: is you've got this parked right here, and then immediately you've got this super as well which we actually wasn't the only super but one of them has already just departed but again this is like these things are just they're aging pretty well this has had a few little bits done to it as well yeah it's got it's got some recaro recliners it's got some rega masters on it so it's probably the guts of a quarter million at today's rate um, <laughs> but no it's actually a well well executed example you know it's not just all, all yeah. show and no go. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely has. This will uh, will do what it says on the tin. Okay, this is more a little bit you, and I don't mean the M or two. No. And I don't mean the mini. Well, no, the mini. Okay, the, okay. Well, uh, all right, so, all right. Talk. Give us, give us a look around the mini. All right. So this is a classic mini. It's a Clubman, but this one has a Honda B series in it, and. This is owned by a friend of mine, Jamie, and I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying it is Nissan Millennium Jade from an R34. Oh, that's very specific. And next to, we have Epsom Green L322 TDV8, clear glass. We, we, we like a bit of that. Yeah, that's uh, it's very you, that would be ideal two-car garage. Take your pick, either is very me. I have owned and currently own both. <laughs> okay, now, TV yours. Oh, God. Where do we begin? Over there. 
So yeah, everyone's favorite Blackpool car maker. We have a T350 or one of the wedges. I always get confused telling them apart. And we have a V8 <laughs> with, this is one of two cars here that has Citroen CX mirrors on it. <laughs> the other one has an Aston Martin badge. <laughs> There's no XJ220s to complete Citroen the trifecta. CX mirrors. Yeah. I don't know if I'm brave enough to own a own a uh, own a TVR yet. I don't know if I can fit one into the collection or not. But I remember when I was a little kid, there was a woman that lived down the end of my road that had a red one of these, and I always remember the sound of it driving by every day. I'd be getting ready for school, and I just hear this like low level like some sort of bomber going up the famously road famously in one of clarkson unleashed straight to vhs videos he described the noise of one of these as two fat men mud wrestling in a well <laughs> uh okay so there's a few other things i mean there's a lot of this there's is some lot. of the stock that's actually here as part of dean motors but there's a couple of little real highlights real kind of standout ones here at the engine block so let's have a quick look over here because I'm kind of into some of these. It's so, it always strikes me when you see the old, newer 911s and the older ones, just the pure size difference of them is. I do believe this is a 912T. Okay. Now this is the other, the Dean Motors. This is their truck, which is an actual truck not for show this is properly used <laughs> as you can see by everything just being loved inside proper pickup truck it's very good to see also testarossas us import ah, as told by the side these. markers and we also have a third brake light mounted on the deck lid at back okay right. and the bumper overriders these things are just so, they've, I think they've just aged so well. Oh yeah, so there's your third brake light mark in there, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> these things are, I don't, I don't get to drive these anywhere near as much as I would love to. I don't get to drive them at all. Super, super cool. Just a wedge. I mean, just this kind of angle from here, when this came out in 84, I'm sure people must have just been absolutely blown away by it. Right, Simon, the man. Dave, <laughs> moldering <laughs> royalty for, on <laughs> <laughs> for people that haven't been here before, like the engine block is, we're only gonna show you your little part of the okay, whole engine block cool. today, but you've got a lot of stuff in here. And obviously today was all about carbs and coffee, yeah, having yeah. events on. We have a quick walk around. So what, like you've got obviously a great mixture a, of stuff. It's a very eclectic mix. Yeah. The way I've always said it for years is that it's very easy to sell a car if you actually like it yourself. If you don't, it's torture. Yeah. And you have to, because they're classic cars and things yeah. go wrong. So you have to yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. M you, can't ha you can't sell a classic car. You can't sell a classic MGB. car unless you sell an MGV. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Look, uh, you know yourself with these, the trick is, because you own old cars, Dave. Yeah, some, the, some old cars. Some old cars. Some old You're cars. You're better off just buying a good one from the start. Yeah. This is particularly nice. Body is good. Four speed overdrive. It's cool. Like it would make people like you and me yeah, look yeah. like we're reliving our youth. Yeah, but the thing is, this you've got something else here that's not a classic. It is well, a classic yeah. car, but it's not a classic car. Okay. So, okay, so tell me tell about, about this. This, this is a from Volvo. the back. It looks like a Volvo Two Four Two. Yeah, yeah, which it is. For yeah. everyone in the NCT, yeah. it's a Volvo Two Four Two. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, 1974 Two Four Two, uh, but it has a four liter V8 from an E92 entry. <laughs> I mean, this is... It's, it's all different kinds of awesome. And it is obscene. Only, only the Scandinavians could oh, do this. Oh man, it is obscene. This is just... Um, the guy who built the car is like Mr. Volvo. Okay, right. Pretty much. Yeah. And he said it was, the, first of all, he said it was one of the hardest projects he's ever done. Yeah. Three years, because this was like the development car for future projects that he's done yeah but he reckoned he spent 60 grand in parts and then 
the course of three years doing Jesus it. Jesus Christ. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I love it's it. It's just everything about it <laughs> is... Schnell. Everything about it is evil, evil, yeah, evil. Yeah, so it's a yeah. twin clutch gearbox in it, obviously like the E92, but he also put an electronic clutch in it. So if you decide that you want to send it out sideways, you just dip the clutch. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It is That's, amazing. Haltel yeah. ECU. It, Usually I mean, cars like, you, oh, yeah, this is un I mean, I, there's I, unique a, and then there's I this. just, I yeah, just, yeah. everything about it I yeah, love. Because yeah. think about, usually this project cars and guys do this and you can drive them for only a certain amount of time and you say, oh, that was fun. Yeah, this yeah, drives yeah. like a real car. It okay. is all in suspension right. all around. I did two and a half thousand kilometers and we drove it back from Sweden. Yeah. It is an antichrist. Okay. It is just another brilliant. Another thing, but I imagine this is, Harder to drive. <laughs> you won't well, believe, right? You're yeah. not. Uh, Dita Band here. Yeah. Very, very cool. It is probably the meanest sounding car on earth. Before yeah. we finish this video, I'll have to start it because yeah. there's nothing in here that sounds like thunder. Um, it's actually really easy to drive, but yeah. it's more of a GT than it is a sports, <laughs> sports car. car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you'll cruise at any speed and top gear all and it'll the just torque. pull with all the torque. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. comfortable. It has electric power steering. It's like it's a Properly nice. Yeah, thing. yeah. It's a properly nice. Thing. I mean, the gold wheels are. It's a gold the wheels, dish. but it's it's this. It's this <laughs> look. Like look at it. I don't. I don't have pots at home that are. That deep. It's, it's brilliant. You do a great casserole. Oh, in do those. a serious. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, at, all right. It's yeah. another another obviously you know. Yeah, but I mean, like, everybody says these cars, but this isn't just. Yeah, it's a European Meister. It's your open Meister. So this so, is. Yeah, I mean, look. Color is amazing. Your open Meister does have different spec, basically. So yeah. the extended leather, leather seats, unique colors. It's a properly nice thing. I'll actually yeah. pull the engine bay just to give you a, it's, it's a lovely car. Yeah, yeah. Um, and hence, it's a lovely price because yeah. you'll go yeah. out and you'll buy an M3 now for kind of yeah. 60, 70 I mean, grand. It's a, that it's, is. It's a spotless It's a inside. proper nice car. Yeah, yeah. Even um, down to like, I know. All the original everything, stickers yeah. and everything is it's, like, this is a BMW nerds Yeah, it car. is. Yeah, because I laugh. Yeah. You come in here and it is the first thing people yeah. come to. Yeah. Because yeah, it's yeah. iconic. It was a well, car every, for Yeah, I era. mean, that's the thing. The, sh the shape of it, yeah. everyone gets and all I mean, that kind of boxy stuff. boxy arches. But, the gas yeah. thing about them is, right, they're not that quick. But yeah. they command you to drive hard. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah, to really yeah. you gotta work, work it to all get, get, the rev yeah, range. Yeah, that's what makes them good. But they handle like... Yeah, really good. So the Ger I mean the German wing, the Germans are quite well represented here. You've got like, <sighs> you know, a bit of I mean these, these have just become these have aged so well, yeah. and also orange, orange lamps. Orange lamps. It's all about the orange <laughs> lamps. It's all about the orange lamps. <laughs> you gotta have them. The thing yeah. about look, yeah. you can go out, and as I always say, you'll go out and buy a famine ship one of these for 15, yeah. 16 yeah, grand, yeah. and then you'll put another ten or fifteen into it to make it a nice car, mm. but it will still never be as nice. Yeah as a really good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're deadly. Yeah, yeah. But when they're right, the earlier car like that one is, uh, there's no catalytic converters. Mm. It has, pr it's a proper metering head. They've 320 odd brake horsepower. Mm. They're quick. The other big thing about these is the fact that 93, these are now vintage. So All these are the actually- All euro Rotax. Uh, yeah, so this is- <laughs> My that's, favorite. That's, that's the other really great thing about yeah. those. Like that's- And I mean like, obviously you've, we do a good bit of British stuff yeah, as well. Yeah. It's not even that they're, it's not an entry level classic. You have to have variety. Mm, and like I said yeah, to you, yeah. have something that you love and that yeah. you're able to. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like there's- There is. You see like, when there you is the a car park today, yeah. Uh, yeah, with carbs and coffee, You've there's everything, everything there's there everything. from like, there's TVRs, everything. Supras, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, that's an unusual car. So it's a C36 AMG. Mm, yeah. So we only made, I think in the 500s of this. Right. So that car came in from Japan, um, 3.6, straight yeah. six, around 280 rate horsepower. Yeah. But it drives nicer than any M5 of that era with the 3.6. Yeah. yeah. Pulls harder, yeah. rides better on the road. It's cool. Mm. Monoblock yeah. wheels. Yeah. It's a very rare piece of kit and it's a pre-merger AMG, so. Before. Which is what, now that's the thing now, these are now the cars that are actually, the stuff that people, are love. people are, yeah. like if you're an aficionado, yeah. you want a pre-merger. No. pre, pre so, merger And anyone who doesn't know yeah. about pre-merger, it was before Mercedes yeah, actually AMG bought were AMG. Totally, yeah, totally they were separate. totally standard yeah. on company. Yeah. Now, okay, we can't ignore the, I don't want to say the elephant in the room. The Buick. But, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, uh, tell me about this Buick, because this is, this is easily your oldest car here. It's definitely the oldest car I've ever seen. Almost sold. as old as how you look after a few years in the motor trade. <sighs> but... 
that's one year after the motor train. <laughs> you look this good. Yeah. Um, it's deadly. We this drove it. I actually, <laughs> I used this car a couple of weeks ago and uh, myself, Simon Walsh and my two kids, we took it out here at eight o'clock one evening and we went down through the Krispy Kreme. Yeah. Drive through. Drive through. Turn and lunch. <laughs> but it's, when I mean it starts on the button, you flick yeah. magneto on an electric fuel pump, pump throttle twice and then bump. Off you go. Up she goes. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh, we, need, we need to talk about this what, because Dodge, Dodge this, this is a car that Every from, single one of us had on the wall. We all, no, we all had the 118 Barago model yes, of this. Did. Yeah, we everyone, did. Did. everyone had it. It's and it is pretty damn cool. They're just so wild and so <sighs> raw and just. It's just obscene. Yeah. And I mean, it's in what, 8 litre V10? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could turn the world over with it. You with, pull with, the world. With, with a link to Lamborghini as well. Which people, so, what, what is yeah. the link to Lamborghini? Because I actually want to know that myself. So, there, there was. Chrysler owned Lamborghini at the time. So and they, did. they had, they had a, a, a big engine that was a big old iron engine and then they wanted to turn it. So how can we make this sporty? How can we make this sporty? And Actually, there's they, me looking to open the engine blade. This man over here on the camera knows how to open yeah. it. Sorry. <laughs> so go on, tell us. So? So, uh, so they then, a Lamborghini turned it from an iron engine into an aluminium engine. All right. And, and did a little bit of breeding on it. And uh, I'm all, only of, here like usually all of a sudden, uh, they ended up with this. This thing is just an absolute it is just animal of a car. Awesome. Also, three spoke alloys need to come back. We, this is the conversation we had here all over the weekend. Three spoke alloys need to come back. Oh, just look at that. I mean, just. It's just obscene. <laughs> yeah, what an engine. It is outrageous. And it's a side exit exhaust. Yeah. Just to really annoy people, yeah. just for full on. Yeah. And it's, it's a pretty, like it's a drivable car. Yeah. yeah it's comfortable. Driving position is a bit weird. I so mean, you're kind to be of honest, a, I, I like a car that will try and kill you at every opportunity. Well, and I, I mean, you've no ABS. Yeah. There's no, no uh, traction. No, no traction, no, no nothing. It's just you Your right foot is that's it. all the ECU that's the, you that's need. That's all you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very cool. Yeah, it really is. You know? And when you see the, I mean, it's kind of weird when you see these in the metal because first of all, it's actually smaller than you think it is. Yeah. It's a bit like when you see Bugatti Veyron for the first time, you go, oh, that's it. Smaller um, than I see, yeah. Um, I've, heard, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, it's just, you, do you know what else I, I, one of the things I absolutely love about these though is when you get, like the bumper details on these is the way they did the badges on it. Like the badges are just kind of, they're, like they're stuck on. It's but just, they're a, just different to having normal badges, you know? It's um, very cool. Yeah. It is. I've it is never, great. never even sat in one. Never even. Yeah. I think I've only ever saw one once driving. Never stood up close. To it. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool. It's awesome to have something like that here. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. great thing with this yeah. sort of place. And clearly, displacements and things like that. Is all <laughs> about big engines here. <laughs> it's, all about, it's all about big engines. <laughs> no compensation. No, that's anything. true. Yeah. I actually don't know if there's any other virages here in the country. Yeah. I haven't. I saw one a long time ago. Um, it's very unusual car. Black on black. Yeah. Very rare, and yeah. it's manual. Yeah. Manual also, being the big key. It has all of the sidewall you oh, ever yeah. want. I it mean, is. this thing is, uh, you know, I, was saying, I was saying earlier to Cormac, I thought, you know, this is where the car you want to be driving down to Courcheval oh, for a weekend skiing. That's it. Skiing, yes, and that's, it. that's it. And you yeah. send your man in your Rolls yeah, Royce yeah, the yeah, day yeah. beforehand with, with all your with gear. Your, with your luggage yes. trunk, <laughs> exactly. your trunk of clothing. Yeah, well, yeah, one yeah. thing that I was actually impressed with, um, I used the last weekend. Thankfully, it was a nice kind of thing to use yeah. for the weekend. Um, it has an LSD in it. Yeah. And it actually puts power down really well. But the thing is, you really have to drive them on. The gear yeah. in is so long. Like second gear yeah, will yeah, take yeah. you past 80 mile an hour. Right, yeah. It's big lazy. Yoke. Big yeah. lazy, but it yeah, just yeah. never stops accelerating. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the other thing is, it's real. It's typically British made in right. a funny sort of way. Right. That I've, I must be the world's most awkward shape because <laughs> when you get into it, if I sit too close, I can't. I can only get my foot on the trot on the okay. clutch. Yeah. But my knees touch the dash. Right. So, so there's a just, lot of kind of. But yeah. it's real. Ah, but it's gonna contort yourself. I mean, it's, it's very just, cool. Yeah, it's all the wood, pleated yeah. roof liner. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's just. And yeah. there's only sixteen thousand miles in it from there. Yeah. It's dead. Just almost run in. It's you know? deadly. And again, this is kind of like old Aston Martin stuff yeah, it as is. well. You know, it's like, proper hand-built sort of stuff. There's a lot of stuff here. I mean, we could spend yeah, ages. Yeah. Spend all day talking. But. 
Carbs and Coffee was today. We had yeah. Modern Classics. I had the UFO here, the Insight. But you're going to have more he did. coming. Displa he went for all displacement today. Obviously, so thanks. Yeah. Just, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Balancing out things with that. Obviously, but, but there's going to be more. So is that like once a month you're going to do stuff? So or it... last year, because we only opened last year, we didn't really get a great run of yeah. days and events. So all of the cars and coffees or carbs and coffees yeah. that we're going to have now are going to be themed. So we're going to have okay. American days, supercar days. It just keeps it interesting so that when people are coming that they're not seeing the same sort of stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do Friday evening events and then coming into the summer, we'll open up probably a Tuesday night or a Thursday okay, night. Right. Just when the weather is good, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. we want the place to be a place that people can just come up, hang out, have a coffee at the bus. That's the thing, yeah. the bus is great. Like, so some well, you're shout a, out to some L bus. You like, are a coffee snob, so was I'm it not okay? I'm a coffee snob. You are a coffee snob, so am I, I'm, I'm not gonna a, lie, I, I love I coffee. I drink a lot of coffee, yeah. but yeah, it's great having that there as well, That's because good. Good. cars and coffee just go together perfectly, Absolutely. so yeah. I'm trying to think what else, and then we're gonna be doing movie nights here as well, in the showroom, that's okay. the plan. Cool. So we're gonna have- Obviously car theme. Obviously car Not like Sleepers in Seattle, or Bridget Jones' Diary. Bridget Jones' Diary for all the lads. Actually, I'm trying to think of the dynamic of a bunch of lads standing around. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I think the first one we're going to do is the Man 66. Okay. So it'd be, look, it's a cool setting Venue. to hang out with yeah, all the yeah, cars yeah. and have a big screen. And, That'd be great. Yeah. And then okay. classes as well so are going to start back up this year. Easiest way for people to keep track of that as well, on the is socials? The social media. Yeah. Obviously, the Engine Block website is going to have a full calendar now of okay. events. Right. Uh, Dean Motors will be kind of posting it as well, but yeah. just do follow the Engine Block. In between you guys running out of petrol on social media. It's never happened yeah. a day in my life. <laughs> yeah. Never happened a day in my life. Cool. All right. Well, look, thanks for giving us a quick look around. Thanks, and uh, make sure you follow Dean Motors, the Engine Block, everything on all the social media channels. Cheers.